give y'all some game about this trucking thing, man. I done been through a lot of different companies, man, in the five years that I've been out here, man, almost six years. You know, I got a story to tell about this, this bullshit company out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, man, called Sweet Express. And I wouldn't recommend that for waste your time, man. I mean, uh, I went out there and worked with these folks. You know, I was thinking about trying to get into a lease purchase, you know, trying to get another truck to put on the road, trying to get my authority back. And I wanted to go ahead and try to see if I can build a fleet, build a fleet with a company, you know. Um, you know, they, they, they said they had good good equipment. They said that they was good and all the miles you want to run. You know what I mean? You can run 3,000 3, miles a week if you want to. And, you know, uh, they got good maintenance on the equipment. So don't worry about anything. You know, uh, go up to their orientation and I can pick and choose which truck I want out of their fleet to, to, to do at least purchase with. You know, uh, you know, I wanted a, 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 I ain't going to say a new truck or, or even a newer truck. I wanted a truck with lower miles. You know, uh, hopefully that it would still have some kind of factory warranty on it. But, uh, you know, with these folks, it was just all bullshit, all lies. You know, uh, I should have knew, and I should have took my cue. I should have took a cue from day one, you know, talking to the lady on the phone. Uh, everything was good on the phone. But uh, once I was approved and everything, you know, from, from my airline ticket going up there, I live in Georgia, so uh, uh, she got me a flight to Grand Rapids. But the flight she got me was a 14 hour flight. You know, uh, uh, I don't know about you, but I know I can drive from uh, Atlanta, Georgia to Grand Rapids, Michigan in 12 hours. You know, uh, it's probably the worst flight ever, man. They flew me from Atlanta to Houston, from Houston to Grand Rapids. Five hour layover in Houston. It was, it was, it was, it was a total shitty situation. Uh, that shit took my whole day. Uh, I think I got to Grand Rapids, Michigan about uh, 2 a.m. You know, next morning when I took off. I think I took off around uh, 1 o'clock Atlanta time. Um, and like I said, didn't get to Grand Rapids till about 2 a.m. You know, about a 13 hour, 13 hour trip. But anyway, uh, they put me in a hotel. Uh, she didn't tell me that the orientation was unpaid, you know. Uh, even these purchase drivers and company drivers, she, you know, once I got the orientation day one, the company drivers were telling me they wouldn't get paid for orientation either. You know, I understand that, you know, if you lease purchasing, you know, it's pretty much like you're a business owner and you're just coming up here to do business with us. So, you know, you might have to pick the bill for yourself, you know what I mean? Pay you while you uh, while you sign the contracts and uh, you know uh, you know you're trying to buy a truck from folks. So basically, uh, I'm gonna get you up here where you need to be and uh, you're gonna do business with us. And uh, you know after that, you're gonna be the owner of that truck. You know, gonna make payments and uh, you know you're gonna be conducting your own business. But uh, uh, that wasn't the story at all. You know, I got it. I got to uh, Grand Rapids. Did the orientation with these guys. Um, uh, first off, orientation was about, I think it was supposed to be three days, but I think it, it strung over to about a week, I believe. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I was just up there. I was just up there uh, last month. So, you know, I done started with a new company. You know, I done went back and uh, got a company job. You know what I mean? Um, I was just trying to get back on the road after. Uh, after beating cancer, you know, beating cancer, still smoking cigarettes. That's that's the dumbass thing. You know, we, all of us have fights. You know, I beat pancreatic cancer, and uh, you know, just changed my diet and you know, start eating a little bit more healthy. But it's kind of hard out here on the road. But anyway, um, I got up there, got the truck, and once I got the truck, you know, they see that the truck is good. Uh, it's a twenty twenty one. Uh, Kenworth T680, um, and I thought it would have been a good, uh, a good deal. Uh, uh, 21 
T680 with about, I think it had uh, 300,000 miles on it. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's decent. I mean, 300,000 miles, it should have a little factory uh, warranty still left on it some type of way. You know, the engine or it shouldn't be, you know, it shouldn't have too many major issues with, you know, with the lower mileage. That's what I was thinking. You know, it had a Cummins in it, engine in it. So I was like, okay, that's better than what I had. You know, I had my own authority. I had a 2014 Kenworth T680 um, with a Packard MX-13 engine in it. And, it, and um, you know, that, that truck, you know, the truck did good, I would say, probably around six months. But after about six months, you know, I put money into it down there at least twice a month. You know, uh, break down and break down and break down. So, that Packard MX-13 engine, y'all can keep it. But anyway, I got this truck, uh, 20, 2021 uh, Kenworth T680 with the uh, Cummings engine in it. 300,000 miles, I'm thinking that the truck should be good and decent. After I got the truck, man, the first, the first trip out, man, the truck didn't even make it a week without having issues. Man. I'm talking about fresh out the gate. First load I had, they gave me from a load from Grand Rapids, Michigan to Oklahoma City, uh, Oklahoma. And, uh, uh, and before I got through Illinois, good. Uh, before I actually got to Illinois, good, man. Goddamn. All the check engine lights and everything came on in the truck, man. The truck started fucking up on me. I'm talking about day one. First getting put on the road, man. Um, I was like, man, what the hell is going on? Yeah, no, I wasn't even able to take off with one foot, but um, I got to Oklahoma City, you know, I didn't want to stop, you know, because I missed the load, I had them been up there for a whole week, already going through orientation, I'm paid, uh, the first load they give me out the gate, you know, it's about a thousand miles from, uh, from Grand Rapids, Michigan, or from where I picked up at to Oklahoma City, you know what I mean, it was a $2,000, I think it was 2300 bucks, something like that with Still ain't seen no money for that, you know. Uh, so, you know, my whole experience with Sweet Express was some bullshit. So, you know, uh, even on that first load, you know, going out there, you know, what I mean, I think I had hit, tried to hit the cruise control or something, and uh, me hitting the cruise control made all the goddamn lights on the truck come on. You know, uh, I went out to Oklahoma City, made it on out there. You know, I was I was riding kind of timid, you know, because uh, I was like, shit, this goddamn check is like, then came on, you know, fucking first load out, and uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna fucking make it. I'm like, shit, it's, it's still there equipment, you know. I know I got money, I can get myself back to Atlanta if I need to. Worst gonna work, I get my, myself back home. So I'm like, well, you know, let me see what's up with this and see how these folks gonna handle this situation. You know, uh, I thought they drunk and shit been on point, but it seems like they just, they just reset the computer, you know, actually, that's exactly what they did, because, um, you know, um, a few times after I turned the truck on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off, you know, it would reset the computer, and the lights would go back out, you know, the check engine lights would go off, you know, and then, um, and then I guess you had to wait for them to get tripped again, but anyway, with these folks, Anyway, with these folk, uh, you know, uh, on my way, on my way coming back from Oklahoma City, you know, they, uh, I call breakdown, uh, you know, this is probably around the third or fourth time, I'm like, okay, it's acting up, the, you know, I'm having coolant lights is on, like the truck is overheating, uh, you know, all this, and this is just, this is the first time out in the truck. You know, this is me first picking up, just getting the keys, you know, and, uh, you know, I call breakdown and the lady at breakdown was just telling me, just cycle through the keys, you know, do it like five times and your check engine lights will go off. And I'm like, hold up, man, what type of shit is this? So this lady don't want to get the truck actually fixed. She just want to fucking cycle through so the goddamn lights will go off. I'm like, oh, man, oh, this, this, this here is some bullshit, you know, I should have do right then to run for the hills. But um, I didn't. I tried to stick it on in. You know, 
know, so I made it, uh, I made the little down Oklahoma City, made it on back to, uh, to uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, put the truck in the shop. Well, I brought it to, I brought it to Sweet, Sweet Express shop. And uh, they looked at it and the guy told me it was the engine cooling sensor. <laughs> you know what I mean? The engine cooling sensor really ain't shit. You know what I mean? It didn't, and it wouldn't be, it wouldn't throw all those codes on the truck, you know, just the engine cooling sensor, you know, something that goddamn simple wouldn't give problems that it, that it was giving that truck. Uh, so I brought it to them. Um, they told me his engine cooling sensor. He told me everything is good. I guess he just cycled through the keys again, or he, he cycled through the, the on-off cycle again and gave me the truck back, told me that the truck is good enough to run. You know, basically, uh, with Sweet Express, they have or they told me that they have a policy with the lease purchases. You know, you can walk away from a lease purchase uh, if you haven't had the truck uh, over a week, you know. So basically what they were trying to do is get me over having that truck over a week. So now I would be responsible for all the all the repairs on the truck. And I already knew, you know, y'all gave me a fucking broken truck and y'all think that I'm gonna stick around or be dumb enough to stick around so y'all can take all the repairs that this truck need. Y'all think I'm gonna be working with, with y'all taking this shit out of my check. You know, ain't no way in hell, you know. Ain't no, ain't no, I don't know who would go for something like that, but you know, they damn sure trying, you know what I mean? And um, I'm, I'm, well, really, I wasted my time totally because uh, bringing it back and forth to the shop, you know, I'm not getting paid for this. So I'm just up there going from shop to shop. You know, uh, once I got back uh, to Grand Rapids and I brought it to Sweet Express shop, uh, the guy told me it was the, the engine cooling sensor. Then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take it to a Kenworth dealer so they can go ahead and give me the full diagnostic on it. You know what I mean? So I can know, you know, because if y'all want me to pay the money for this truck, then I'm actually trying to buy the truck from you guys. You know what I mean? I want a full diagnostic from the, uh, the dealer. You know what I mean? I want to know what the hell is actually happening with this piece of shit truck. So I take it to the Kenworth dealer. These folk, uh, I'm there at Kenworth probably around two, three hours. They haven't even plugged it to the computer yet. Uh, they get pissed off at, at me because I went to Kenworth. They're telling me, no, uh, don't, don't bring it to that Kenworth. We got bad dealings with them. Take it to the Peterbilt dealership. So there I go from the Kenworth dealer to the Peter built dealer like it's gonna be any better but I'm telling you know I need to diagnostic on this truck y'all folks want me to pay you know I need to know what the hell is going on so I brought it to the Peter built uh, dealership there in Grand Rapids uh, it was there for a full day you know they gave me the whole printout the truck got so many goddamn codes like 30 some 30 some uh, fault codes you know that's 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 on there uh, I think like six of them active. You know these folk. You know, I guess I guess they think they found me, man. You know, but uh, you know I couldn't hang around for it. You know I'm asking, hey man, what's up? Y'all truck wasn't ready. Y'all should have put it in the shop before I got here. These folk want to go back and forth. You know, like it's my fault. You know, I'm like shit. Well, you motherfuckers want me to sign a contract for a truck that ain't even worth buying. You know what I mean? Y'all motherfuckers need to fix the whole computer system in this truck before y'all give it to anybody. Because if it start throwing codes, you know, you know, once a truck start having an engine problem or a wiring problem or electrical problem, you know, it's gonna be hard to fix and it's gonna take more time than necessary. 